Hello everyone and welcome back to Midnight Club. This time we're chasing down Kareem again. You remember Kareem? I remember Kareem. This time though, Kareem is a lot easier to chase down and a lot easier to race, presumably to preserve the player's sanity, because the first race against Kareem is unreasonable. You know, you just, if you're a driving game, you have to have that one race or one mission that's just unbelievably frustrating. You just have to meet that quota, and Midnight Club already met that quota. So now the rest of the game can be reasonable. There's no reason to worry about that anymore. Sometimes the games go a little overboard on the quota, such as the case with the driver games, but we don't we don't worry about those either. You just if you play driver, you have to be pure of heart. You have to make sure that there's no evil or anger in your heart before you play a driver video game. Otherwise, you're going to turn into a hateful monster who tears up everything in their path and uh, and destroys other people in video games and is just filled with seething monstrous rage their whole lives. So unfortunately for Kareem, he just kind of gets stomped. The .25 is just a much better car than his, and I really pay attention during this race, but we still come out we still come out on top fine. I know it may not be the most strategic or helpful advice to say just get the .25 first, but just get the .25 first. It makes pretty much every other race in the game, barring the final one, a big joke. Just get the .25 first if you come to London. Unless you're playing with a different playstyle than I am, maybe there's a better card for that playstyle. I don't know. But the .25 is just a really great car, and, and it goes fast, and it turns good, and those are like the only two things you do in a driving game, right? You go fast and you turn. I should really stop calling this a driving game when it's a racing game, but it reminds me a lot of driving games, which is probably why I like it so much. It helps that there are no laps. It helps that there are no laps in this video game. I really don't like lap-based racing unless something changes each lap. I know Midnight Club is a long-running franchise, so maybe one of the later entries is actually just a driving game instead of a racing game that's kind of like a driving game. But I also know that later entries in the series were not handled by Angel Studios, unless Angel Studios was absorbed into some other studio. But this is Angel Studios' property, so if they're not making the later games, that's a... Uh, you know, I have my doubts that another developer could do it as well. I'm not saying it's not possible, but Angel Studios is apparently really good at their job. How the hell did you manage that? Hey, it's you again. Here's my London number. Let's race here sometime. Well, you beat me in New York, but London is my kind of town. Well, I like your style. You get me out the race, then you turn up right at that. So this is one of the more humorously straightforward races late in the game. It's pretty much just a straight shot to the goal after we exit this ramp. And uh, we gain a lot of speed going down the ramp. If we boost as we're leaving the ramp, there's no way Kareem will catch up to us. We'll just have so much momentum. He just doesn't have any hope. Yeah, he's pretty much gone already. Unless we, like, smash into something head-on and then flip into the air and clip out of the map, I'm pretty sure we've already won. There's just no way he's going to catch up. I mean, sure, it's difficult to dodge traffic going this fast, but who cares? I'm fucking Sonic the Hedgehog. What in the world is going on? Well, you beat me in New York, but London is my kind of town. You think you got a hope against me? You and that, and me and this? Yeah. <laughs> 
Unlike the last race, which was humorously straightforward and only had two checkpoints, this race uh, is not straightforward, but still only has two checkpoints. So, there's a lot of complicated twists and turns between the two checkpoints. You gotta be gazing at the map constantly to figure out which path you're gonna take. And I would say that's why I ram into a bunch of stuff, but let's face it, I ram into a bunch of shit no matter what. The good thing about this race is that after you figure out the path you need to take to get between the checkpoints, there's no way you're gonna lose, assuming you're driving the point two five. As long as you know where you're headed and how to get there, then this race is in the bag. It's just a brisk Sunday drive at plus 100 miles per hour. So now that we have some time, I feel I should bring up that Kareem specifies that he gives you his London number, which makes no sense because he never gave you his New York number. I, th I feel it's odd the developers felt the need to clarify that when he only gives you one number. Also feel it's weird that he has a fan club when Midnight Club is supposed to be a secret thing that nobody knows about. You know? What in the world is going on? Well, you beat me in New York, but London is my kind of town. You don't know what you're getting yourself into, do you? So I'm going to be honest with you, I definitely should have lost this race. Uh, we do naturally overtake Kareem. He goes faster at the start, but uh, we overtake him because we're just driving faster. And we, take, and we take these small turns better, you know, we naturally overtake Kareem. So things are looking good. And then I majorly, majorly fuck up, and we hit a wall and start skidding sideways. Yeah. So we're way behind now, and I thought there was no recovering from that, but you know, might as well finish the race, you never know what could happen. Our chances of naturally overtaking Kareem are gone now, though. So the AI would have to do something really stupid, like turn right into a wall before the finish in order for us to win. But but that's just too stupid. What in the world is going on? So instead of showing me chasing down Cream again, we did just skip straight to the next group race, since chasing down Cream isn't all that exciting or difficult. The main play here is to overtake Kareem at the start after you figure out which path he's going down, and then it's pretty simple from there. The path he takes is really easy to figure out, it's fairly straightforward, just a big loop. Emphasis on the big though, it is a big loop, and this race takes a while, at least by Midnight Club standards. You learn a lot of turns here, though, that you're going to need later in some of the more complex races. So I guess that's important. Anyway, Kareem does a relatively good job of staying close during this race, but he really goofs up on the sharp turns. Like, he has a really, really bad track record with the, with the sharp turns. And there's quite a few of those in the middle of the loop, as we just, as you just saw, we just went through them, so... Should be no problem to stay in the lead. It's a little hard to even recognize Kareem as the same character, because when we raised him in New York, New York, he was just so incredibly ridiculously overpowered. I said that the the turns in this race are important to memorize for later, for the more complex ones, and I, di I didn't realize how many there were that were in the later races, but... I guess the later races pretty much take you all around London. So it's to be expected that you'd learn that you'd learn most of the turns before then. That's assuming you're paying attention. It's very possible not to pay attention during the races with Kareem if you have the .25. It's very easy just to kind of glaze over. 
You know, you, 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 you glance at the map, you see where the next checkpoint is, you see how to get there, then you just, your eyes just kind of glaze over and you're like, yeah, I'm going to do this just fine. Doesn't matter what the hell I ram into, we're going to be fine. Just kind of zone out. You know, like in real life when you're driving, before you slam into another car and kill someone, just kind of zone out. The beginning of this race can be genuinely tough because all the cars are in one road and there's not a lot of room to maneuver. You have to weave between all of Kareem's buddies and then you still have to dodge pedestrian traffic while you're trying to weave around Kareem himself. But even if you goof up in this early stretch, there's still a lot of really sharp turns where you can easily take the lead. Uh, there's one upcoming that will actually be in the final race. This turn right, uh, yeah, right here at the bridge. Very sharp left turn. You know, it's times like this that I'm thankful the, the physics in Midnight Club are so biased in the player's favor. Like, even when you go flying, you usually land on your wheels or you pop back into normal position very quickly. There's a lot of driving and racing games where the physics are more realistic or are even worse over-exaggerated. And if you clip into a wall like that, you're not, you're not getting back out and landing on your tires anymore. You're gonna, like, fly all over the map and land in the ocean and you're just gonna get all fucked up. I'm sorry, we're, we were racing, right. Uh, there's a lot of turns in this race that are very similar to turns in the final race, so this is a good race to, uh, this is a good race to pay attention to, but I played the final race so many times that I just have that one memorized instead of this one. The last checkpoint in particular is a bit tricky, because you gotta slow down a lot. Get up, come on. Because you gotta slow down a lot to make these turns near the end. Thankfully, you should have such a large lead that it doesn't matter. How the hell did you manage that? You damn fine, brother. Damn fine. You need to find a London champion. He might be the one to give you a run for your money. <laughs> Darren Forrest, Forrest is Manny Landon. 